This is Adam Stevens from Adam Stevens Bass. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a list I compiled of 10 things every single bass player should know. I'm sure you're curious to what those 10 things are, so let's jump right into it. Number one, every bass player should know the importance of playing with a metronome and or drum machine. As bass players, um, our job is to lay down the time, and so it's absolutely crucial that we spend a lot of time, no pun intended, with the metronome in order to develop that quality. Number two, every bass player should know every single note on the fretboard. Whether you're down here, whether you're up here, do your best to slowly but surely learn every single note on your fretboard. Number three, know how to practice. Uh, practicing efficiently and uh, just jumping right into the things you guys are having trouble with or the difficult passages in a song, for example, is the best way in order to practice. The tendency, myself included, is to play a lot of the things uh, we already know how to do and to noodle around, but the more we jump into the, the weaknesses in our playing, the better we'll, uh, we'll become and the, the faster we'll improve. Um, number four, is uh, know how to play with other people, with other uh, instrumentalists, okay? Um, this is really crucial um, when you're obviously playing in a band context um, because you have to kind of get used to keeping your ears up, to listening around, and just, you know, kind of going with things on the fly. So that's a really good way to uh, also inspire creativity and to, you know, just help the whole process move, move along. Um, Number five is that uh, you need to know that you have to practice slowly, okay? Um, such a common mistake with beginners, once again myself included, when I'm learning a new technique or a new song, is to just jump right into it and play it super fast right off, right off the start. But you're definitely going to gain more, way more knowledge and obviously a lot more improvement faster if you just practice it nice and slowly from the beginning. Um, Number six now is you should know how your you should know your way around the keyboard or the piano. I'm not saying you should be able to be you know Oscar Peterson or someone crazy like that, <laughs> awesome piano player. No, you just have to know your way around. Know some scales, know some chords. You know it'll help you guys with harmony a lot. Number seven um, goes kind of along with that is I think you should know your your all of your music theory, your scales, your chords, triads, harmony. If you're at a gig and someone says, hey, play 145 in the key of G, you'll know, boom, G, C, D, and you'll be good to go. Um, number eight on my list of 10 things every bassist should know um, is you should know at least one song inside out. Everything from the bass line to the melody, the horn parts, maybe even the lyrics. This is a really good way in order to memorize a song, in order to get a repertoire that you're going to start developing as you uh, move along in your career as a musician. Um, the ninth thing on my list is uh, you should really know that your ears are the most valuable tool uh, as, as a musician. Um, I know some of you might learn from tabs or from notation or whatever, and that's cool. It's a good way to start, but ultimately you guys want to start learning songs by ear. Um, and that kind of leads me to my tenth and final point on my list of ten things every single bassist should know. And that's, that is, um, you should know as a bassist or as an instrumentalist, any instrumentalist, what you want to sound like. And you should do that by listening to a lot of music, a lot of different bassists, and find which ones you dig. Find who's playing you like. Me personally, uh, one bassist I really like the sound of, uh, especially like soloing and improvising, is Yannick Wisdala. And so, a smart thing for me now, now that I know that, is to go and listen to a lot of Yannick's playing and ideally lift uh, and transcribe some of his solos. I hope this video is helpful to you guys. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. Leave me a comment below, as always, and I'll do my best to answer. Thanks a lot for watching.